And I'm and I'm Connor. And Please welcome say. to episode one of our third season of Life on the Lake. Let's get started. A lot has changed since our last episode back in the winter of 2020. Who would have thought that back in March 12th, so much would have changed in our world? Throughout the spring and summer, the Silver Lake community has worked tirelessly to create a safe learning environment. Our administration team, teachers, and support staff since March reviewed guidelines, participated in professional development, and created a new normal life for 2020 and 21 school year. And while things may be a bit different this year, the Silver Lake Regional High School community continues to thrive and grow this year. Let's take a look at some of the events that have happened so far. Students, including our very own Connor, came in before school began this year to help creating PSAs that focused on a new COVID guidelines. If you haven't watched them all, they're available on the library website under Laker PSAs. We had a great time creating those, but what we weren't but we weren't the only ones having fun while pushing out some serious messages. Faculty and staff also created a special video for students and families. Their message that they will always be there for us shown through in the Friends parody video that they created. This video was posted on the main page of the school website if you would like to watch it. While there are some noticeable changes to school this year, something that hasn't changed is the enthusiasm which our Laker faculty members are teaching. And either in person or remote, our faculty continues to teach in creative and engaging ways. To fellow's anatomy class, they were treated to some theory addicts as he portrayed an accident prone teacher for students to identify the type, size, and location of several bodily injuries. Ms. Schwier's class learned all about the brain, sympathetic nervous system, and the adrenal cortex, specifically what causes the fight or flight response. For more information, be sure to follow at Lakers under SL on Twitter and hashtag learning at the lake to see some of the great ways lessons are being taught. School-wide events this year have included Unity Day on October 21st and Pink Out Week for Breast Cancer Awareness on October 26th to the 30th. Unity Day is a national day dedicated to bring together people against bullying. Lakers wore orange to show that we were united for kindness and inclusion. inclusion. The library also created a virtual bookshelf highlighting resources on the topics of unity and anti-bullying. Our show of unity was not only just at the lake, but it was also an event that was celebrated district-wide at all of the town schools, including the middle school as well. The last pink week of October was our pink out week. Lakers wore pink this week to show our stand for the breast cancer awareness. The National Honor Society decorated the event lobby hall with ribbons and students and staff were pink all week to show that we won't give up the fight against breast cancer. Additionally, Silver Lake Student Council is hard at work developing creative ways to stay connected as a school community. We are currently planning our annual Spirit Week, which is November 19th to November 24th, and Laker Day, which is November 25th. Also keep an eye on your school email for information about our community service projects and fundraising ideas. It is time for an academic shout out. Students Anna Tunis and Matt O'Donnell were both recently recognized for their academic achievements. Anna was the recipient of the Dartmouth Book Prize and Matt was the recipient of the Harvard Book Prize. Way to Way go. Way to go. Community shout out is a new segment to Life of the Lake. We would like to use this time to recognize some of the amazing things our students are working on in our school community as well as the communities at large. We would like to recognize Brendan Hayes, Charlie Hayes, Riley Bermez, Tegan Bermez, Daniel Foley, Lindsey Foley, and John Collins, along with Joseph Wenema, the Soldier for a Soldier, which is a nonprofit organization run by the aforementioned Silver Lake students. Brendan Hayes originally started Soldier for a Soldier at age nine when he was able to trade a toy soldier up to a trip to Disney World, which he donated to a family of a fallen soldier. Soldier for a Soldier is now an official nonprofit organization and is currently working towards fundraising for the construction of a house which will be donated to a veteran and their family. They have held many successful fundraisers and they are grateful that the Silver Lake community has been very supportive of their cause. People can visit soldierforasoldier.com to see ways they can help Soldier for a Soldier accomplish its goal. The art department would also like to send a special shout out of thanks to Messina Sheehan for helping to prep supplies for fellow students. Athletics may have also changed due to COVID, but even with these changes, we are still rolling at the lake. 
For example, field hockey captains would like to share senior night at, was Thursday, October 15th against Pembroke. The final score was two to zero Lakers. All 15 seniors were recognized for their hard work over the last four years. The whole team is very grateful that they were able to have a competitive season and look forward to the Patriot Cup tournament starting November 11th. Go Lake! A lot of these great events would not take place without our dedicated athletic staff, coaches, and of course our custodian team. Be sure to check out the Thank You PSA to our custodian team for their part in setting up senior night for our volleyball team in the gym. The PSA shows what they accomplished in two and a half hours breaking down the gym cafeteria in under a minute. That is a cool video to watch. As we are finishing up the first term of the year, we at Life on the Lake wish you a safe and healthy term too. Thank you for watching and until next time Lakers, remember this year's motto, SL can't sink us. Yeah, me too. Hello, Silver Lake. Together, you guys. Ready?